What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justin Foles. We back at it again with another video, and today we're looking at some Armor Core Six Fires of Rubicon trailers. Like, I don't know how, but I've been missing these trailers. I don't, I've, I haven't seen not one trailer. I don't know. I guess that's somebody else that was on my account that was looking at the trailer because I didn't look at any of these trailers. Um, I might have looked at, I might have looked at this one when it came out two months ago. I don't know, but we're gonna take a look at all the trailers for the new. Armor Core game from, from from made by FromSoft. Like if you know, you know, y'all know FromSoft. Um, Armor Core is a long running series. I remember I used to play Armor Core on the PlayStation, where you had to turn the controller around. Like the optimal way to play, like dead ass was for you to hold the controller like this and play like this. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the day type shit. You know. So this is a classic series. The last game that came out was Armor Core 5, which was um, damn near 10 years ago, 9 years ago, 2012. So um, we're going to take a look at these trailers. So without further ado, let's just get to the video. We're going to start with the reveal trailer. If y'all hit my fan, oh, well, y'all be all right. Oh, I saw a frame rate dip there. That must be the fires of Rubicon. That's the dystopia that's that's left. Let the last cinders burn. From software. Here we go. Chaos. I ain't gonna lie, if that was um if that was my first trailer and there was nothing else that came out, I'd be hyped too. I'm not gonna lie. This came out seven months ago, and then the next trailer didn't drop. The gameplay trailer didn't drop until two months ago, five months. I'd I'd have been hyped off for that trailer. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Now let's go to the next one. This is the this is the um gameplay trailer. Entertainment. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Okay, so Rubicon is the planet. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Feed the fire. We saw what the fire did the last one. I don't know if we want to do that. Let the last 
as cinders burn. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. Let's get it. Okay. Another fire trailer. Okay, August 25th. Now you got the reveal date. So that's next. Oh, that's shit. That's next month. That's almost like exactly a month. That's a month and two days from now. Then they got the collector's edition. PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox. The steel book. You get some stickers. You get a figurine. I might see what's up with this. Because I like figurines like this. I'll leave them sitting up. I could put it like back there or something. Add to the backdrop right here. Cause I had, I, I'm gonna put some art on the walls, but I want to add to the backdrop right here. So maybe it'll be this, uh, this arm core figure right here. But okay, that looks, that's looking dope. And then you got the premium edition. You get the super, you get the figurine plus the garage. So that one's probably gonna run you about 300. Another one gonna run you 200. I don't need all of this, cause I ain't gonna have no space for all this. I'll take the the the, the regular figurine. But yeah, that was fire. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was fire. Um, I liked what I, I like the gameplay. I like it. Looks like it's gonna be a big game, like in scale. Like this is gonna be a really big game. Very over the top and action packed, as you would expect from, you know, a combination of Namco Bandai and um from software. So let's go to the okay. There's another gameplay trailer or just straight footage. So let's let's check that out. And they giving us like, you know, actual full, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they just a little clip. This is straight in game gameplay right here. Now we got to use the propellers propellers you know you got jet you got rocket boosters all over you you can, you can fly in any direction you want he's all kitted out he has the rocket on his left arm he has a gun in his right hand and he has you know missiles over his shoulder and then he got another weapon on his other side of his back like he about to go crazy there go some enemies yeah, it beeps when you get close to the enemies. I remember that. Then you get a melee.
like the part I like the particle effects. I'm liking the particle effects. The environments look a little bland, but you know, I'm liking the particle effects though. I'm liking the model of the of the of the of the um the mech, the armored core. Effects is ill, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, customization. This is what I wanted to see. Okay. There will be no shortage of customization options. I see. This gives this this is kind of giving it an RPG kind of vibe. I don't really, I don't remember um I'm a core five getting that much hype. But this one is. They're not showing the HUD on purpose, but I wonder if you could, like, if you want, could you play without a HUD? That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Hold on. You had the regular. You got the standard edition. Deluxe edition comes with the game and the art book and soundtrack. If you pre-order, you get oh, you get a skin to make him look like Optimus Prime. I didn't see that at first. Um, and what was the website name? We gonna visit the website. Armedcores.com. Okay. That was cool. I'm not gonna lie, that was cool. Like, like I said, the environments look a little bland, but I mean, I, I'm not really, I'm not really tripping over that. So let's move on to the next one. Hands off a preview. Authorized pilots only. Oh, so they they gave these people the whole experience. Nice little walkthrough. One day I will be one of these creators going to one of these kind of presentations. Amazing. I'm so excited for a new. Oh, Elena, game. let's go. I can sum it up in one word. I know Jay Shot. I heard of him. Ouch. In a good way. The gameplay looks incredible. I heard of him. I really. Like, I don't know him. I don't watch his content, but I heard the of him. The looks really, really fluid. But I know, um, I know a lot of peers. Fluid, but it seems like it's even more fine-tuned. My favorite part was the gameplay From and sort Chang, of the never demonstration heard of, of the movement, but also the quick pace combat. Obviously, FromSoft is known for their Little incredible laggy, never boss design. So I think seeing that in a mech space where you have a lot more maneuverability is going to be super, super cool. How these bosses are animated, how they look, yeah, how Lana. big they can get. It's the creativity that always blows me away. The thing that most From Software fans enjoy the most is the challenge, is going through the pain and the torment of, you know, the process. So figuring out all the different ways you can beat these bosses uh, should be pretty interesting. Yeah, there's lots of builds to, to mm -hmm. try out in the game. You can Never change heard of out Captain. different parts of your mech. It was like head, chest, arms, 
legs, you got four weapons that you can choose. I think changing up like how agile your character is uh, is gonna be an awesome time. I think I'm gonna try dual plasma daggers. Build-wise for me, I, I wanna be all speed all the time. I would say I prefer to do a mech that's a little on the heavier side, but at the same time emphasizes speed and also hard hitting weapons with maybe just a tad wow. bit of melee. We Hopefully want a lot tanky. of boosting. Hopefully I can jump tanky. around a lot of verticality. There's melee. huge environments, obviously. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for, but I could die at my first boss and have to rethink all of that. So who knows? How many times am I gonna die? Hopefully eventually zero. A lot. I'm gonna die in the lowest. It's a from soft I'm game. A lot. Oh, why? Because I'm a god gamer. Elden Ring. Shut up. Kind of change the the playing field, and Armor Core is a different look at a it, a different look at the playing field, a different kind of game. I'm really excited to actually get my hands on the game, and uh, see where it can go. Fires of Rubicon. Okay, that was cool. They gave some. At least some gamers like an actual look at it. Um, I would I would like to get their opinion like off the record, cause then they'll give their real opinion. Um, cause of course you know you're going here. You know, you don't want to shit on the game. You know, and then they don't ever invite you back to anything, or like they're not gonna put somebody talking bad about their game in in a promo in a hands off promo preview thing they're not gonna put like gamers talking bad about their shit in there why would they that would be stupid it's bad marketing so moving on to the last trailer this is the story trailer and this trailer dropped three days ago so now we get to get into the lore of armor core which i'm not i've never been familiar with i've always just played it for the gameplay because i've been interested in the gameplay remember i was saying you had to hold the controller like this like it was back in the day to play it optimally you had to hold the controller like this like if you know you know you know but yeah here we go the story trailer for armor core Our war. Oh, nah. This one is functional, but don't expect much more. I'm not here to talk. Wake it up. Well, you know, we gotta have the minigun. Oh, no. This is some anime shit right here. Like, I, I'm... This remind me of, uh, like, Spriggins or something like that. self-destruct. Damn, you pulled a Vegeta. Sacrifice itself to destroy the weapon of mass destruction.
At what cost? Ah, damn. Man, I still don't know what's going on, but that was that was deep. That was deep. They were on a mission, and both of them died, bro. Both of them died. One sacrificed herself to stop the big weapon from firing off, and the other one smoked himself to uh smoke that big tank that was trying to stop them. That's crazy. I was some anime shit. Like I said, it reminded me of like Spriggins. If you haven't watched Spriggins, watch Spriggins. If you like mech stuff like this, if you haven't seen it, watch Spriggins. Definitely watch that. But um yeah, this was dope, man. Like I this made me more excited for the game. I know the game launches um August twenty fifth. I definitely might pre order it. I'll probably get it on um I feel like because I feel like certain games I gotta get it on PlayStation because I grew up playing the series on PlayStation. So I'll probably get this one for PlayStation. Um Armor Core five, I might I might check that out if it's like let's see if it's dirt cheap somewhere. Let's see if um thirty seven dollars, I might check it out. I might check it out just to get me get it's just get me more warmed up and acclimated to the uh to the to the new game. I'm not sure if the stories tie in together, but um it, it seems to be all signs point to it being a direct a direct sequel, you know? Star Citizen. Wow, look look how far we've come. Look how far we've come. Look at this compared to how six looks. This look blurry as fuck. We thought this was fire 10 years ago. 10, 15 years ago. We thought this was top of the line 15 years ago. This should look blurry as fuck. But yeah, that just shows how far we come. But yeah, Armor Core, y'all. Definitely on the list. Like, I've been hearing about it, hearing about it. I've never checked out the trailers until now. But now that I have checked out the trailers, I'm hyped for it. And I'm definitely adding that to the list. I was like, I was going to watch the shoe and head video later. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Y'all checking this out? Y'all checking for Armor Core? Do you even not know what Armor Core is? Because it might be an older series that you never really paid attention to. Let me know. So, y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy Justice Falls, and we out. One. Thank you.